Good morning, everybody. From Center Point, Iowa, right, Diesel? <laughs> Didn't know you were gonna turn the camera on me, man. I wasn't ready. Wasn't you ready? So good morning, you beautiful person. You we're headed from Iowa to Mississippi today, where we're gonna stay for a reset. So I'm gonna stay there for my full 36 hours, which is two hours longer than the American reset I, I understand that and i know you know that but i have to say that otherwise i get all the comments saying resets are only 34 hours trucker josh where i'm from we have to stop for 36 hours so i just stop for the 36. so we're gonna go down there we're gonna find a good safe place to park i'm gonna get through st louis today which i'm a little iffy about we'll see what happens i'll keep my eye and my ear on the news and stuff see what's going on there and if we have to avoid the city, we have to avoid the city, but I really can't afford the time. I, I need to go right through. So hopefully no highways are blocked or anything. Let's, let's find out what happens. Let's see what happens. All right. All of you, me, and our windshield bug gut buddies. Flying around St. Louis right now, hoping not to find any trouble. Looks like traffic is moving pretty freely. So far today's been a good day. It's hot outside. It's about 30 to 32 degrees Celsius. It's around 90 Fahrenheit. Still got a few hours to go. Okay, buddy, if you want to get in front of me, you got to give her because there's someone right beside me. You can either speed up and get in front of me. Okay. Or you can just wait till that guy passes me. There you go. See? I don't get that. You have this huge on-ramp. That on-ramp is designed for you to get up to highway speed before you hit the highway so that you can merge with traffic already on the highway. Why are you entering the highway at 45 mile an hour? And then slowing down traffic and getting mad when traffic won't completely slow down to let you in. Speed up! Right, Diesel? That's a universal thing, both countries. People do not know how to use on-ramps. By the time you hit the highway, you should be doing the same speed as the traffic you want to merge with. But you know this. Anyways, here we are, St. Louis. Can't really tell because it's apparently buried in a forest. But we're going through the city right now. Keeping our head down. Well, fantastic. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but traffic's at a standstill on the south side of St. Louis here. I don't know why. I mean, I have my guesses, but that could be wrong. I don't want to jump to conclusions, like I said. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hope this isn't what I think it is. Well, I wasn't waiting for that mess to figure out what that was. So uh, I took the first exit and I'm taking a little bit of a, well, it's not a shortcut. I'm taking an alternate route, a detour, as they say. A detour diesel. One kilometer, take the entrance to the ride on Emma 141 Arnold. So what was this? This was, uh, Missouri Route 21, and we're taking it down to Missouri 141. And that's gonna take us over to I-55 South, so we can miss whatever's going on on the freeway there in St. Louis. I know you were hoping that I'd show you. I have no idea what it was. Maybe it was just an accident. In 400 meters, take the entrance to the ride on Emma 141 Arnold. Oh, you never know, but it very well could have been a whole group of people standing in the middle of the road throwing stuff at vehicles. So I don't want to get my truck all broken and damaged. I just got my window fixed. I don't want to get it smashed out again. So we'll just go around whatever's causing the causing the traffic jam. How about that? We'll just play it safe. In 300 meters, turn left on Emma 141. Aye aye, Karen. I double checked your work before we went here. So otherwise I'd be questioning you a little more. She did try to lead me down some residential streets. She got all mad that I wasn't taking the original route she wanted me to take. I mean, I'm the boss. She's got to get that through her head, but... Uh, whatever. It is what it is. Right, Diesel? 
Jeez, are you sleeping through all this? This is exciting, man. This is exciting. St. Louis. St. Louis. Never taken this route through town before. Actually, I don't go through St. Louis that often, so it's always a little exciting when I go through towns and cities that that I haven't been to in a while. What are you doing parking here? What's this all about? Take the entrance to the right on I-55 South. Then I gotta go all the way around you, and go all the way back in here. You know how inconvenient it is to change lanes. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But it is sure inconvenient for some people, because, oh, some people make a big stink about it. How dare you make me change lanes? I know, moving your finger half an inch over here is very hard as well, too. Signals, man. So 500 kilometers, 300 miles left. Not as far as I want it to be. Say that much. Dodge that one. All right, come on. Well, let's shift this manually so I can get a little bit more momentum here. So if I let this automatic transmission shift for itself, it uh, really doesn't know uh, what momentum and physics are. It's just faster if I shift them myself. That guy's nice enough. He's letting me in here. That was nice of him. Continue on this road for 280 kilometers. I'm gonna have to go in that lane now too. Let's get some momentum down the hill. It's all about momentum, right? Momentum, momentum, momentum. Signal device activated. There you go. There you go. You see? You see, there you go. I left you three more lanes to use. And kick her back into automatic. There you go. That's all I had. That was full power. Whew. Zero to 60 in what? Five minutes? We're not even that heavy. I'm probably sitting at what? 65,000, 70,000 pounds gross. I mean, that's heavy compared to these little 3,000 pound cars, but. we go so now that we're around st. Louis we can uh, stop stressing out about that city everything's fine now we got uh, go all the way we've got to go down the rest of Missouri down the eastern side of Missouri here we're gonna enter into uh, Western Tennessee or is that Kentucky no that's Tennessee slip through Tennessee and into Mississippi Who's there, Diesel? Wow, what do you mean, who's there? Is there somebody there? I was about to lay down. Don't panic me like that, man. Serious business. Who's there? Diesel, who is it? Who's there? You better not be crying wolf, man. I'm telling you. You do it every day. Pretty soon you're going to say, who's there? I'm going to be like, no one! Go asleep! Thank you for protecting me, Diesel. Diesel actually gets really vicious. Uh, I had a guy walk past my truck here, and I don't know what he was doing back there, but uh, he's walking, I guess he went for a walk, went right past my truck, and uh, like I'm right on the edge here, right? So Diesel just starts freaking out. Freaking out, hair standing up on his back, he's just, fangs are bared, he's just drooling off his fangs. I'm like, what is going on? And there's a guy sitting out there looking at him, smiling. Obviously a dog lover, he had a dog with him as well. But Diesel didn't know that. All he knew that this guy was getting way too close to the truck. Right, Diesel? You're such a good boy. Good boy. So I had to go there and give him a good give him a good pat on the head. That's what he's supposed to do. He's my protection on the road. I could leave these doors unlocked and no one would ever get inside. I could leave the windows down and just leave for like an hour or two. And Diesel would just sit there at his post and never let anybody close. I'm a shy guy, man, but you always gotta be scared of the quiet guy, right? I think you got a message. Was that mom? No, it wasn't mom. But yeah. You always gotta be scared of the quiet guy, right? 
Don't mess with the truck, man. He's my truck. He's my home. Stay away. He's just on guard. He's got his ears bent back now to listen to me because I'm talking to you guys. He's on alert mode right now. Diesel, who's that? Who is it? Who's that? Who's that? You gonna guard the truck? Who's that? I don't know who you're talking about, man. I don't see anybody. <laughs> you're a good boy. Good boy. I'll stop messing with you now. But thank you for protecting the truck. I appreciate it, bud. You're a good boy. Not everybody has a guard weasel, man. You're lucky. All joking aside, though, he is a pretty fierce protector of this truck. I'm not joking. Uh, <laughs> all you have to do is just walk up to the truck, especially if I'm not in the truck. Uh, he will freak out. But that's what he was trained to do. Right, Diesel? He's such a good boy. Man's best friend right here. We go into some pretty sketchy areas, and, you know, these days... The sketchy areas are becoming more common. So as we uh, roll, th roll through the world, roll across the, the continent, I really like having him with me. Even if you don't mean any harm, he will never let you get past the truck without at least letting me know that there's somebody near the truck. You're actually pretty scary when you're angry. Hmm? Good boy. Thanks for watching today. Uh, we made it down to Corinth, Mississippi, or right nearby anyways. I'm on my reset right now. This is the next day. Just editing up some videos, trying to play some farm simulator here. But uh, apparently, my uh, I haven't played this in about a month, and it has to update. So it's taking forever to update. By the time it's finished updating, I'm probably not even going to want to play it. But anyway, I haven't, haven't played for a while, so I figured I'd uh, catch up a little bit. Thanks for watching today's video. The last weeks of videos have been sort of all blended together. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. We'll see you tomorrow.